welcome back to my channel today this is same right by p i'm so happy to have you back once again thank you very much for all your subscriptions in today's video we are going to learn how to draft a cow abaya but this time around it's going to have a v waistline with some gathers to it we are going to use slash and spread method to achieve this so if you want to see how this is being produced keep on watching till the end of this video Please, if you are new to this channel, consider subscribing, turn on your notification bell to receive more videos like this each week. Like and share this video to family and friends also. So to, be, to begin this tutorial, we are going to make use of the following measurements. So these are the measurements we are making use of today in this uh, drafting. And I'm going to first of all draft these measurements. Uh, these, these are my vertical measurements. So I'm going to impute them onto my drafting paper right now i've already created my shoulder line and my center front line now i'm going to impute these measurements the vertical measurements vertical measurements are measurements you take from your shoulder down to your to your knee or your full length they go they are, they they are taken vertically so i'm going to impute these measurements now and the very first measurement i'm going to take here is going to be my bust point and my bust point i have 10 10 and a half inches the next is 18 the next is 29 then finally i'm going to take my full length so watch me do i'm going to repeat what i did here over here to get a but a straight line so I'm done creating my bust point line, waist line, and hip line. And now I'm going to go over to my shoulder line. I'm going to take the measurement of my shoulder, across shoulder, which I have as 15 inches. I'm going to divide it by 2, and I'll be having 7.5 inches, starting from the center front. So I'll be placing my tape on the center front along the shoulder line and I'll be making a mark of 7.5 inches here. Then I'm also going to take my neckline. I'm using a neckline of 3 inches today. Then neck depth of 7 inches. Then I'm going to connect these lines. So I'll be, I'll be placing my pattern master to these two points. And I'm going to connect my neckline. Having done that, I will now take my shoulder slant. That is my shoulder slope from the point of my 7.5 inches. I'll be dropping my shoulder line. This is my shoulder slope now. And I'll be placing my ruler from the shoulder, from the neckline. And I'll connect to my shoulder slope. Having determined my shoulder uh, slope, I'm going to take the measurement of my armhole depth. How do I get my armhole de depth? I'm going to take the measurement of my armhole, round armhole divide by 2. That is one method. Another method is you can use your bust divided by 6 plus 1.5. And I have a bust circumference of 39 inches. I'll be dividing it by 6, then I'll be adding 1.5 to it, and I'll be having 8 inches. So I'm going to take the measurement of the 8 inches here, and then I'll make a mark. Then I'm going to square my line. This is my chest line. So I'll be having, I'll be labeling chest line. Then I'll be connecting the, the place my shoulder dropped. I'm going to connect it to my chest line. Then I'll be placing my tape to the shoulder slant. And I'll, I'm going to take the midpoint of my armhole depth. And I have 4 inches here. And at this point, I'll be going in by 0 0.5 inches. So I go in by half an inch here, and now on the chest line, I'm going to place my bust circumference measurement divided by four because I'm working on a quarter of my bodies now. So I'm going to take the measurement, and I have nine three quarter inches. 
then I'll be adding half an inch of ease here. Then I'm going to connect this line to this line, then to this line. I'll be placing my, my French curve this way to touch my shoulder line. Then I'll, it will touch the midpoint, then down to the chest line. So having created my armhole, now we are going to go over to the waistline. And on the waistline, I'm going to place the measurement of my waist circumference, which is 36, divided by, two, by 4. I'll be having 9 inches. I'll be placing my tape on the waistline. Then I'll be taking the measurement of 9 inches. Then I'll also add 0 0.5 of an, 0, a half an inch ease here. Then I'm going to connect my line. Now, the next thing we are going to do is to come over to our... I'm coming over to my hip line. And on the hip line here, I'm going to take the measurement of my hip circumference, which is 46 divided by 4, because I'm working on one quarter of my body. And 46 divided by 4, I have 11.5. Then I'll also add 0 0.5 inch of this, and then I'll connect my line. So having done this, I'm going to connect this line from my chest line. I'm going to connect this point, this point to this point. So with my curve ruler, I'm going to connect from the chest line to the waist line, as you can see me do. Then with my hip curve, I'm going to connect this point to this point, to the 0 0.5 uh, ease added to my 9 inches. If you don't have a hip curve, you can still use your ruler to do that. It will still give you the same thing. But in this tutorial, I want to use my hip curve to connect. So having done that, I'm going to transfer the measurement I have on my hip line to my hem. And I have 12 inches here. I'm going to transfer the 12 inches from the center front towards my hem. Then I'm going to make a mark. Now with my ruler, I'm going to connect this line from the hip down to the hem. So having done this, looking at this draft is you is looking already looking like a basic gown draft. So you, assuming you want to make a gown, a long gown, this is very good for it. But today we are going to create an abaya from this particular drafting so watch how we are going to achieve this so because this v cut is going to come from the waistline to the under bust now i'm going i added my under bust of 14 inches to this so i'm going to take the measurement of my under bust from the shoulder length from the shoulder line this is my bust point and i have my under bust here and i'll square my line the measurement of this bust point is taken from your shoulder. You'll be placing your tape on your shoulder to your bust apex. And from there, you now take to the under bust. Okay? So now, the next thing we are going to do is to extend the shoulder line to form the abaya sleeve. So I'm going to extend my line from the shoulder line. And I'm going to take it this way, as you can see. Now you can see I've extended my sleeve length line. So the, on this sleeve length, I have my sleeve length. From the shoulder where my shoulder stopped, I'm going to take, I took my measurement to the sleeve where I want the sleeve to, to be. And you can see I have 18 inches there. So I'm going to place my tape on my shoulder. And then I'm going to make a mark of 18 inches. That is where my sleeve will stop so this is the sleeve length length of 18 inches but coming to this round sleeve i'm going to take the measurement of where the 18 inches is as you can see it's going to be a little tight not too loose and you can see that i'm having i'm having nine and a half inches here so I'm going to impute the measurement of nine and a half inches plus five inch ease to it. So I'll be dividing the, because I have 10 inches, I'll be dividing 10 inches 
into two and i'll be having half five inches then i'll make a mark of five inches because i'm using a stretchy material so i'll be taking nine inches you can see how i took the measurements at nine inches so these nine inches i'm going to divide it by two which is four and a half inches and i'll be placing my tape on my sleeve length and i'll be making a mark of four and a half inches then i'm going to square my line so this is the measurement of my round sleeve and i have four and a half inch inches here so from in order to connect this uh, bat wing i'm going to take a measurement of four inches from this point of four and a half inches i'm going to go in by four inches and i'm going to connect my line to that four inches as you can see coming over to the waistline i'm going to come down by three inches because that is where i'm going to connect my bat wing i'm connecting from the four inches then down to the three inches so i've already come down from the hip line three inches this is three inches from the hip line i came down from there and i went in by four inches here so i'm going to connect this line to this line to to put to this point to form my bat wing so you can see i've connected the bat wing now this is the shape it's going to uh, give you when you do this connection so now the next thing we are going to do is to connect our v waistline you remember that this line is my under bust line and this is my waistline and this connection of the v waistline is going to be connected from the center front of the waistline to the side seam of the under bust line so i'm going to place my pattern master this way to touch these two lines and i'm going to create the v cuts i'll be using another color of marker to create this v cut waistline having created this waistline we are going to i'm going to cut off the shape of this abaya first before we slash and spread so i'm cutting off through my drafts then i'll be cutting through the green line that is the center front line i'm cutting through the sleeve round sleeve then i'll be going in towards the four inches mark i'll follow my back swing line and coming to the waist line to the hip line i'll be taking it straight to the so guys this is the shape we have after cutting our, our, our draft so now we are going to jump into the slash and spread along the v cut line all right guys it's time to slash and spread to get the to achieve the gathers on the v waist cut okay so i'll be placing my tape at my center front and i'll be taking the measurements of two two inches two two inches so i'm done taking my two inch two inches two inches coming up now i'm going to come over to the hip line now and i'll be placing my tape on the center front i'll come in by three inches then from the three inches i'll be taking two and a half inch two and a half inches two and a half inches and half two and a half inches so i'm connecting from my center front on the waistline to the three inches on the hip line so i'll be placing my ruler this way and I'll connect. I'll come over to this point. I'll connect. 
Then coming to this point, I'll connect to the hip line. On the V cut line of the two inches, I'm connecting to the two and a half inch. So I'm going to extend this line, okay? Let me label the line A, B, C, and D. So coming to the D line, I'm going to extend this line and I, it will be touching my side seam. Then coming to the C line, I'll also extend my line to touch my side seam. Coming to the B line, I'll also do the same to touch my side seam. I'm done extending my D line from the hip line to the side seam. I've also done that for the C and for the B. You can see they are all touching the side of this uh, draft. Now for the A, I'm going to extend all the way to the hem. I'm taking it straight from the hip to the hem. Okay. So you can see that I'm done extending my lines and I'm going to cut through these lines. I'm going to cut through this line starting from my under bust to the waist, the green line, which is the V shaped cut, cut. So I'll be cutting through this line. Watch me cut it. So you can see I turn my paper this way so that I'll be able to show you how I'm going to cut and slash and spread. So I'll be cutting through this green line. You can see I'm done cutting through that green line. This is what I have. So I'm going to cut through these lines all through to, to the hem. I'm going to uh, cut all through to the side seam. Okay, people, you can see that I've cut through these lines. You can see where I stopped my cutting. I'm just opening it up to show you where I stopped. I didn't cut off all, no. I also maintained my line. But you can see how I cut. So now I'm going to slash and spray. And I'm going to slash with three, three inches to achieve that gathering. So, so I've already slashed. Now I'm going to spread. I'm spreading with three inches. So, but before I do that, I'm going to place a fresh pattern paper under this slash. Okay, guys, I am joining this la last line. I forgot to join it. So, I'm going to connect this last line to my hip line, the point of my hip line. And I'll be, this will be my E. This is my line E. And I'm going to slash it too. So I'm slashing it now. And I'm cutting. And I'll stop exactly at the hip line. So it's time to spread and I'm going to spread with three, three inches intervals. And you can see I placed a fresh pattern paper below it to allow me spread it. So I'll be spreading from the E line. And from this line, I'm going to move in by three, three inches because I have much gathers there. So I'll be moving in by three inches i'll tape you can see i made a mark of three inches here and from that three inches i'm going to place my next panel so i'll be i'll be spacing it with two inches from this point point e you can see i'm making my mark of two inches and from that two inches i'll be placing my you can see that I've finished spreading from one edge to the other two inches, from another edge to the other two inches. All right, so you can see I, I'm done spreading. So the next thing I'm going to do is to connect my edges so as to not to have any shortage when I'm trying to gather 
so guys you can see the end result of the slash and spread now i'm going to cut through my center front and then i'll cut through the scallops okay so watch as i'm cutting So you can see I'm done cutting the edges all around. So I'm going to cut through these scallops now. I'm going to cut it. So I'll be raising this one up, then cut. So on your machine, you'll be running your gathers. you have your, your gathers all through here. And after gathering it, then you, you are going to join to this piece, okay? All of this gathering will enter into this piece, okay? So you are going to cut this in two pieces. Then you have a seam allowance at the center front to join. You have another one here to join also. Then for the back, you are going to draft your normal abanya. The very first drafting we got will serve for our back before the slash and spread. Okay? Thank you very much for watching. I'm so happy that you watched this video. Thank you very much. If you, have, if you are new to this channel, please consider subscribing. Turn on your notification bell to receive more videos each week like this. Like and share to family and friends. Bye-bye.